Um, and the final organization who will receive $25,000 is Heroes to Heroes. Heroes to Heroes is a non-denominational organization providing spiritual healing, suicide prevention, and peer support programs for veterans who suffer from moral injury and PTSD. And as a special uh, guest this evening, uh, we are joined by Michael T. Brown, who served in the United States Army, and he has successfully gone through the Heroes to Heroes program. I'd like to extend a warm welcome for Mr. Brown so he can join us and tell us a little bit about the program with Heroes to Heroes. Wow. Um, every once in a while, um, I get asked to speak on behalf of the organization. And no matter what it is, no matter where it is, I get in my car and I go without one, a single question asked. And the reason for that is the Heroes to Heroes Foundation uh, addresses something in a sea of veterans nonprofits that no one else does. And it boasts statistics that no other veterans nonprofit can actually say. And that is that Heroes to Heroes has never lost a veteran that's been through the program to suicide. Now, the statistic of 22 a day is pretty well known and sometimes debated. Um, but we know that the guys who come through our program don't ever travel down that road. And for my part, uh, I found the program when I was at the end of a very long journey. Um, uh, as the MC said, uh, I did serve in the United States Army from 2003 to 2007, and I deployed in support of Operation Iraqi Freedom from 2005 to 2007. Believe me when I say it was my honor. However, um, as I served my time overseas as an embedded advisor to the Iraqi army shortly before the surge, um, we did take uh, contact and, and we did lose personnel. My story, because I had been stop lost to stay in Iraq, began as soon as I got home. I hit every single thing on the checklist of what not to do after you've had experiences in coming back. And it wasn't until I had already been prescribed everything on the formulary list of medications that the Veterans Administration had, and after I had done multiple inpatient treatments for injuries that I sustained, uh, as well as um, you know PTSD issues. And because, as I said at the beginning, Heroes to Heroes has this unique value pop proposition of addressing moral injury, it earns the success rate that it has. I'm currently a graduate student at Villanova University in Public Administration. I'm getting married in May. And I have applied, in an academic sense, every possible scientific metric in the study of the science of nonprofits to why this program is successful. There is no standard characteristic. There is no standard diagnosis. There is no standard cluster of diagnoses. It's got nothing to do with where they come from, how old they are, or where they serve. It just works. And the, the guys that are really religious believe that it's Israel. But one thing about taking American combat veterans into that environment is, we may have post-traumatic stress disorder, soldiers, sailors, airmen, and marines, but that's a post-traumatic society. I walk these guys down, I've, I've, I don't know if I mentioned that, I, I've gone back as a coach. Okay. I walk these guys down the streets, and people stop and hug and kiss them and thank them for their service in a way that resonates with them that I don't think they experience anywhere else in the world. And when I tell you it works for every veteran we take, I had an 82-year-old captain of Marines serve two tours in Vietnam, heavy combat, and I had the pleasure of seeing that man let go of things he had been carrying for 40 years. He said to me, I've gotta go home and apologize to my wife for the last 40 years of our marriage because I did not know how broken I was. This gift that we've received tonight, it's gonna to go a long way. You're gonna save lives, sir. And we're gonna make it go a long way. Thank you very, very much. <laughs> 